Alright, welcome back to another Star Citizen update and guess what, we have a very very interesting update and that is experience Star Citizen for free, that's right, free fly, it's back. And the question is, why free fly is back, so stay tuned and like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow and let's deep dive into why we have free fly this week. I think it's this week, it lasted for a week. And let's start off with what is free fly? Free fly is for people who are on the fence, not say on the fence, it's basically a demo for people who wants to play Star Citizen. And the best part is we have some goody goody good stuff, or rather Star Citizen has some good stuff. And let's check it out first. We have Aurora MR100i, Nomad, and Colors Black, and the Prospector for you guys to fly for free. And of course, we have discounted starter pack right so it says throughout free fly and through february 8 28 so it's two weeks i think it's about 10 days okay so it's 25th okay until the 25th so that's one week of free fly which tells me it is an event Right, very straightforward. And of course, I did read already, so I know what's happening. Haha, <laughs> Aurora MR100i, Nomad, Colors Black, and the Prospector install, satis uh, uh, install Star Citizen. So try Star Citizen for free from February 17 to 25th, which is fantastic. And Alpha 3.16, right? Make sure you used to get in the verse code. Now, the most important PSA for you right now is that if you are a new player now it's a good time to get in right that's for sure please use a referral code if you want to use your friends that's totally fine as long as you use a referral code but if you're going to use my referral code i thank you a lot and i'm going to make a video for people who actually use my referral code to play star citizen and i do appreciate a lot the most important part about using a referral code is we have some free goodies for you when you pledge for a discounted starter pack or at least $40 or more for Star Citizen. And that's the whole idea of using a referral code. Right, at least that and that, and that's it. So that's it. Let's move on to why we have free fly. And that is prepare for Jump Town 2.0. That's right, we have Nine Tails coming back and Jump Town 2.0 is basically an open dynamic event. No, open PvP dynamic event. That's it, yep. Very simple. We're gonna go to a drug, uh, some drug location and then we start pew pewing each other up. And that's great. And of course, we have some ships sale for you as well, but we're not gonna go through this first. We're gonna go through for new players. And if you are new players, it's even better, right? it's even better let's check out with the free fly bonus right before we go to the discounted starter pack you get yourself a spanking cool armor yes that is the free fly free fly referral bonus right alpha 3.16.1 yeah then you get a i don't know how you pronounce this curly quark Quarinus, right, Quarinus Tax Anti Max Loadstone Armor. That's a mouthful. Well, and on top of that, you also get a sniper rifle. So you don't just get a cool armor, you also get a cool sniper. And guess what? Right now, according to the FAQ and everything, so let's start off with the minimum of 40. Yep. The bonus is granted with new player use the referral code, pledges, starter pack, ship, minimum $40. That's it. That's that's what I just said, which is great. But then including 5,000 UAA, UEC, so you get all bonus money as well, which is fantastic. Promotional runs until February 28th, so get them while you still can. How do I refer friends? Simple. There's a referral code down below. Just click it, copy it, and that's it. Can I earn more than one armor and sniper rifle kit? No, only one armor and sniper rifle kit can be earned per player. See, that's the whole idea. So if let's say there's 10 people with, uh, use my referral code, I only can earn one. So technically speaking, I'm totally fine if you want to use other people's one, right? But of course, if you have lots of people, I mean, not say lots of people. If you use mine, I do really appreciate what is regular referral? Da -da, receive my referral award. You will receive definitely for sure later after spend $40 before tw February 28th. Limitation, da -da -da. 
even now as a referral, non-meltable, non-giftable, right? All rewards gained by referral bonus are not referable, and uh, you know, not meltable, non-giftable. So be careful, especially for ships. You can't melt it. So if you upgrade to the wrong ship, uh, so normally I keep my free fly referral bonus as it is. If I do have one, of course I have one dragonfly and I do really appreciate for that person who used my referral code, right? Sweet spanking armor, yay. And let's move on to the discounted starter pack. And what we have, we have the Aurora MR, Origin 100i, Nomad, and Cutlass Black. A bit sad we don't have the Prospector because the Prospector is a free fly ship. But of course, the Prospector is not technically, right? Technically, it's not a starter ship, but it is a starting professional specialist ship. Wow, that's a mouthful again. All right, so we have the Aurora MR starter pack at $40.50, 100i starter pack at $45.50, Nomad starter pack at $71.25, and Cutlass Black starter pack at $103. 50 cents personally of course i will always recommend the cheapest ship which is the aura mr starter pack because every ship is earnable in game with and of course you can buy rent with in-game cash so you only need a starter pack per se just yeah just pick the aura mr starter which is fantastic of course if you want a little bit more beefy more wholesome i would skip the 100 starter Right, even though it saves the most money, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through this one small little thing. I will go straight to the Cutlass Black Starter Pack. This guy is actually very, very good, right? And yeah, but if you're gonna go for the cheapest deal, bang for buck, everything you want, the best of the best. There is in between 100i and the Nomad, right? So if you see 30% and 25%, personally, yes, the 100i is cheap. I mean the highest uh, savings you can save but personally i would say the nomad starter pack gets the best bang of uh, gets the best bang 25 percent fantastic and the ship is much more wholesome it is funny we don't see the avenger titan but because the nomad is way better in my opinion sure it's a bit more expensive yeah the nomad is actually a very 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 good ship and to top it off to top it off, we have the Consolidated Outland Hover Quad, right? I did put a review for the, my previous video is the review, uh, review of the Hover Quad and it's, this is a fantastic bike. And guess what? We can fit it on the, uh, wait, where are you? The Nomad. There we go. Hover Quad and Nomad Adventure Pack, $90. So this is actually very, very cheap. Very cheap. Right. The only difference is this doesn't have a whole quad. Do note. Do note. And last but not least, right, very important thing is that we want to cover not just the starter pack, but there is a hidden starter pack combo with Squadron 42. Keep forgetting that because that one's very important. There we go. Squadron 42, da, da, da. stand alone at $45. If you get the combo, some package gets cheaper. Like for example, the Aura MR, uh, sorry, the 100i Squadron 42 combo, $65. Yeah, sure, it's 45, that's $20. Great, it tells you how much you save as well. Do we have the, all right, sadly, the Aura MR Star Citizen Squadron 42 combo is not on discount, that's a bit sad. Yep, we do have Nomad plus Squadron 42 combo. So again, a very decent pick, $23.75. I think that's great. Do we have the Cutlass Black with Squadron 42? Boo hoo hoo, we don't have. So all in all, I believe the cheapest package that you should get right, with Squadron 42 is the 100i. Sure, it is a little bit uh, the ship department is a little bit not so great, but I think it's okay. All right, let's move on to Jumptown 2.0's ship sale and see what ships should you grab as well for those people who want to have more than just one ship. Well, 
and of course I did cover this a little bit previously or rather the first time Jump Town 2.0 went live and the answer is actually not really an answer because most of these ships are optional you don't need to buy as long as you have the starter pack that's totally fine and let's start off with the Mercury Star Runner $260 okay Valkyrie $375 this is a drop ship Prowler $440 also with drop ships now these ships are a little bit too expensive for my liking if you're a solo pilot out there but personally I do love the Prowler the Prowler is awesome, but $440, you can get much more ship with the price tag. Yeah, but still, still a bit. Aesthetically wise, this, this ship is awesome. Mercury Star Runner has been dethroned by, well, not say dethroned, just that Constellation Andromeda does way better for cheaper price tag, $240. Yeah, and for those people who have been playing Star Citizen, well, we managed to get a cheap, RSI Constellation Andromeda like a few weeks ago and I think that's great 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 all right let's move on to the single pilot fighter we have the Arrow Gladius and Cutlass Black obviously Cutlass Black is up there Vanguard Warden is great but $260 oof 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 Okay, personally, I would always recommend a cheaper ship, Arrow, but in this case, I love to recommend the Gladius. And for those who have, or rather want to start the game, uh, not just get into the game, Cutlass Black is available on discount, so get that instead, right? Either the Gladius or Cutlass Black. Warden, I think it's great, but Warden uh, Vanguard Sentinel is way better, but $275, yeah, that's a lot of oof money. So Cutlass Black still wins, right? Cutlass Blacks or Gladius. My vote goes to Cutlass Blacks because it's much more versatile. Easy as that. Easy. And last but not least, ground vehicles. Normally I say skip the ground vehicles because the ground vehicles cannot fly. And you play Star Citizen 4, well, fly around the verse. That's all. And if you want to buy any of this ground vehicle, I would still recommend the Hover Quad instead. And that's it. That's all I have for you for this little patch. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button to help this channel grow. And don't forget to use a referral code. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.